Hey there YouTube, I got one of those Casey Neistat style bendy tripod things and it's Wednesday and it's time for another work from home vlog. So let's go make breakfast. So future Aaron checking in right now, and today's video is going to be entirely different than what it's going to end up being, so I'm scrapping the intro part because somebody else released a video very kind of similar to what I was going to talk about today, and also my day has led me down a completely different path than what I thought it would, which spurred the idea for today's video, which is going to be, people ask a lot what a typical day is like for a developer, so we're gonna tackle that question today. Now back to past Aaron and breakfast time. Yeah, how's breakfast? How's breakfast? Okay, so that was breakfast, uh, four strips of turkey bacon, two eggs, some hot sauce, onions, and of course, coffee. Been up since like 4.30 in the morning, coordinating with people overseas, and I went to the gym, and now I'm sitting here eating breakfast and watching Bonnaroo survival videos because I'm going to Bonnaroo this year with my father. And I don't know, there's a lot of people who watch this channel. Maybe some of you go to Bonnaroo. If you have any tips for music festivals in general or Bonnaroo specifically, camping, that sort of thing, leave them down below and just understand I'm gonna be with an old man who's 60 years old and going to Bonnaroo for the first time. So keep that in mind when you tell me to like drop acid every day or whatever. So it's like 4.30 now and I'm just getting around to filming again because my day has been wild and all over the place and lots of things got thrown on my plate that I was wasn't expecting to be thrown on. I thought I was just gonna have a chill day writing code and it has been just about anything but that. So yeah, anyways, I wanted to share something with you guys. I've recently started like working on my like breakfast nook and standing while I was working and using a shoebox as like a ghetto kind of height riser on my laptop. Anyways, do you guys stand when you work or do you sit down? I work on the floor sometimes. I use the floor as a desk. I've just been trying to incorporate standing more when I'm working because being sedentary and like just sitting all day can mess with your joints and things and I have joint problems anyway. Anyways, let me know what you think about standing and working. So anyways, past that tangent about standing up while working, like I said, my day has been buck wild. I thought 90% of my Day was going to be spent coding. I was just going to have to do my typical morning stand up and then off I go and code, code, code. And my day started at like 4.30 this morning trying to coordinate stuff and the first part of the day went kind of exactly how I thought it would. And then all of a sudden and almost entirely my day shifted. I got thrown onto multiple things that I wasn't realizing that I was going to be thrown on. And that's fine. I, I like to pivot and I like to have lots of little different bits to do all at once. And so that really works for the way that I work. And it's a skill that you should probably have when you're a developer is not necessarily pigeonholing yourself into definitely planning out your whole day always. Because depending upon the size of the company you work for, priorities may shift and priorities may shift at a moment's notice. Uh, from like minute to minute, priorities may shift. Specifically, if you're working at like a small startup, things change and things change rapidly. So it's not always the task that you had laid out at the beginning of your day is the task that you're going to end up doing for the rest of your day. So it's really easy for me to sit here and kind of tell you what a typical day is like, right? Uh, if I work eight hours, six of those at least are typically spent coding and then I may have meetings or I may have other things to do or I may pair program with somebody or I may go over some code that I had, I may have a code review. All of these different things can happen or you can get on a call with a client if you're a client-facing developer. There's a thousand different things that can be thrown on your plate. And then also at the drop of a hat, the thing that you didn't think you were going to have to do or a piece of code that you wrote three months ago happens to come with a bug and you have to fix it or something happens and there's a priority shift because a major client or a major prospect has something that they need yesterday. So yeah, today I thought I was going to get eight, maybe 10 even hours of coding in and I really kind of only got three and that's okay. I 
I've been productive, I've done my job, it's just I've done it in a completely different way than how I expected. And coming up with that kind of sense is a good thing to really hone in on. You're learning this on your own and it's really easy to set down a block of time for two hours, I'm going to code for two hours today, then, then that's great, but priorities shift and things change and a typical day is never typical and if it is typical, that's great. If you get to rock out on your project for eight hours, that's great but it's just not always the case. I would say in a typical work week of five days, there may be one day where nothing pops up that I didn't expect to have happen that I need to shift my priority on. Only one day out of five days do I actually do what I wake up in the morning intending to do completely and entirely. Past that, there's a lot of shift and a lot of change, and that is A-OK. -okay. It actually keeps things exciting, and a lot of people get worried when they're starting to learn to code that all they're going to do is sit in front of a computer all day, and while that may be true for a lot of places, it's also not true for a lot of places as well. And being able to kind of recognize based on the size of the company, the kind of product or platform that you make, the kind of projects you'll be working on, what kind of work environment you're going to be in, and how regimented and scheduled your day can be is really valuable to kind of understand the problem is, is that knowledge as well is probably only going to come with time. I can't necessarily pick out exactly what kind of firm or company X is based upon what their marketing website says and what kind of job their developers do based on that. But when you're going through interviews or when you're applying to jobs, feel free to ask questions about, hey, how, how do you guys work? Are you guys an agile environment? Do you use Trello? Do you use Jira? What kind of support role will I have here? All of those kind of questions can really give you a sense of how their working style is. And if working style is something you're concerned about, then maybe take that into account when you're applying and interviewing for these kind of jobs. And I'm not saying that you should turn down a good opportunity, especially if it's your first opportunity, because you should get in there and get a taste of what it's like to work as a developer. Every situation is different and you may thrive in one situation and not be super happy in another, but you're never gonna know until you get put in the deep end and that's really what this is all about. It's about learning how to code, getting a job, and then killing it when you're there. So yeah, just ask questions, figure it out, and try to maintain your focus and shift your priorities as best you can as you're kind of working your way through this. Anyways guys, that's all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions about priority shifting or job changing, things like that, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along in my journey in this wild world of development. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.